All right, here's a few uh, base baffles real quick. Uh, I got this from a wonderful legendary player, and it really plays great. It really plays great. Um, the baffle is nice. And the, the, everything is just so smooth. It's great. It responds lovely. The tip opening is, is great. The tip is nice. And there's some real scooping out at the base there uh, versus a lot of other sea stars don't have this. And this really does play great. All right. This is a really good, I'm in the process of getting a new cork on it. These G LeBlancs, um, this is a quality superior, shed valve. And it really does play great. Um, kind of a little bit more of a U thing going on there. I guess some people call this double concave. I don't know. It's not quite as, it doesn't go in quite as deep as the uh, Selmer. It's pretty good. Here's another G LeBlanc. Quality superior. Quality superior. A uh, little bit bigger. And there you really see that. Nice refraction. So many cool things happening with this. Um, again, in a lot of ways, this plays like a Selmer. Plays certainly closer to a Selmer than than a Caspar base mouthpiece. I really like that baffle. I just like this whole everything happening here. So many good things. Now let me show you the one that really is just the best base mouthpiece I personally have ever played. Steel Ebonite, Lelande. Artistic facing. Kind of narrow in, in a lot of good ways. And here we go with perhaps the most unique baffle I've ever seen in a base clarinet mouthpiece. This thing to me reminds me of a New York Meyer. It's so very, very sloping. Like it's almost a, uh, you know, 25 degree just there you can really see it there how well it goes up uh, this reminds me of an early Babbitt auto link as well uh, and you see that goes in really deep and there's a lot of good stuff happening that baffle is really something unique I've never really seen anything like it on a bass mouthpiece and this is gets the most focused sound I've ever gotten on a bass clarinet mouthpiece wow look at that it's incredible it's really it's really a work of art. Um, I'm not saying that would work on, on everything, but so one thing I've, I've always been looking for is more focus on my bass clarinet sound. Um, and what's interesting is like you take saxophone mouthpieces and the evolution of saxophone mouthpieces, they make the internal smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller uh, for classical mouthpieces. But some of the mouthpieces retain a totally open interior and they have a crazy baffle like that just really incredible and it's funny because I had an artistic facing Leilande B flat mouthpiece that had the same kind of baffle for B flat short kind of incredibly pronounced and it didn't really work for B flat it, it really played sharp a little bit trite at times but for bass you know I can get a, a ton of focus without a lot of uh, a lot of effort even on a thinner reed and uh, softer read, and um, and just incredible uh, articulation and personality that this gets.